Admiral Howard was the first African-American woman to command a U.S. Navy ship, the USS Rushmore, and the first to achieve both two and three-star ranks. You'll be doing a lot of applauding before I get through this bio, I guarantee you. In 2006, she was selected for the rank of Rear Admiral Lower Half, making her not only the first female graduate of the U.S. Naval Academy selected for flag rank, but the first admiral selected from her entire graduating class of 1982. On July 1st, 2014, she became the first woman to become a four-star admiral. As Vice Chief of Naval Operations, which she began that same day, she became the first woman as well as first African American to hold that post. Howard also became the first female four-star admiral to command operational forces when she assumed command of U.S. Naval Forces Europe and U.S. Naval Forces Africa. <laughs> Starting to figure out real quick, she is the real deal. The you got it. The VFW Armed Forces Award has been presented annually since 1964 to operational units as well as active or retired members of the Armed Forces for outstanding contributions to national security. The award recognizes extraordinary achievements that reflect the highest traditions of service. Admiral Howard's near 36-year career has been a record of many firsts, but what's most important to the VFW is she led from the front while taking care of her sailors and their families. <clears throat> now it is with great pride and honor that the Veterans of Foreign Wars of the United States presents its 2019 Armed Forces Award to a veteran of operations Desert Shield, Desert Storm, and Joint Endeavor, of humanitarian relief efforts in Indonesia and maritime security operations in the North Persian Gulf, and the rescue of merchant mariner Captain Richard Phillips from pirates off the coast of Somalia. Now we're talking. Please welcome Admiral Michelle Howard. Armed Forces Award and Citation awarded to Admiral Michelle J. Howard, United States Navy, retired in special recognition and sincere appreciation of her faithful and dedicated service to America, her Navy, her sailors, and joint service teammates and their families at home and abroad. Admiral Howard's near 36-year career has been a record of many firsts, from achieving flag rank and commanding ships to becoming the Vice Chief of Naval Operations and Combatant Commander of U.S. Naval Forces Europe and U.S. Naval Forces Africa. Her selfless service to nation is true to the ideals, traditions, and values of the veterans of foreign wars of the United States. In witness whereof, we have hereunto set our hands and the official seal of the veterans of foreign wars of the United States this 22nd day of July, 2019, approved by the National Council of Administration, signed by B.J. Lawrence, Commander-in-Chief, and Kevin Jones, Adjutant General. One more time, raise the roof. <laughs> 